Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I want to show you another display from MakerFabs that dear Jennifer sent me, thank you very much and I showed you this one, it's a 4 inch square display with 480 by 480 pixels and I found this lovely demo code which technically turns it into a turntable and um, but today I will talk about this one here this one is based on the ESP S3 it has of course Wi-Fi and Bluetooth BLE 5.0 it has native USB type C support it does come with a 16 gigabyte hard, hard disk here with a micro SD card it has a button I mean button connector for battery for lipo battery it does charging it does charge the battery it has the uh, usual flash and reset buttons it has two uh, these are called the maybe interface uh, i2 square and then additionally it's i think uh, gpio 38 and 39 and here you can see the antenna and uh, this is basically the back of it I mentioned it has LiPo charging circuit on here and it has a 1.28 inch obviously round display with capacitive touch and it comes with these nice mounting holes and I also wanted to show you since the one tape was a little bit loose I can pull this off and show you how the display is connected to the PCB and it is connected by this small connector in case you're wondering so it's not soldered you can technically take it off here and put it back on and these are the double-sided tape that holds the display on to the PCB and um, let me connect it real quick and show you a demo code these displays uh, it has 240 by 240 pixel and they are absolutely beautiful and very very bright and this is just a demo code that shows different uh, watch um, interfaces those are now just sorry uh, just static images but you can see what and how you can display on a display like this and it's absolutely gorgeous this bitmap i actually don't like because i see uh, i see yes you see too the white uh, edge of the bitmap but that's on the bitmap because other bitmaps like this one do not have it and i mean this is just I mean, it looks even better on in real life than on camera but I think even on the camera I can go pretty up close it does look very nice it's a little bit sensitive but that's the code as it jumps around a bit but it's really really beautiful display and capacitive touch so you don't have to use any um, buttons or whatever you can put it to sleep deep sleep and then wake it up by touching the display and uh, this is actually it not much to it but it is a whole I'll show you this contraption here in a second it has to do with this and uh, everything is on here so you don't need anything else and with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability you can turn this in anything you want uh, round display most people would say clock and I think there are enough clocks out there and uh, so I was uh, thinking of a use for it and today I actually got the idea for what I will use it or how I will use it let me unplug this real quick here I'll put this away this display also comes with a speaker and it has very nice sound so sorry I'm bumping into my 
tripod that holds the phone. So anyway, while, while this is sitting on my table, as I said, I was thinking of what I'm gonna do with it. And then I found this light lamp. Let me pull out a little here. Straighten the camera. Sorry about all this buzzing around here. So anyway, I found this um, light and it's uh, not designed by me. Uh, it is seemingly from a movie and the guy turned it into, or I don't know if it's a light in the movie as well, but he turned it into a light and he used white LED strips. And of course I had to bump it up a little bit and put NeoPixels in here. And let me turn this on. So it has this just, this is just a test code with the animation. And as you can see, I have this plugged into breadboard and that's the worst possible thing you can do with NeoPixels. Because, oh, there you go. And a little timing or bad connection gets the timing off and that's why the middle light was red. Let me try this again. Turn it off. Of course that's the uh, effect while you're trying to make a video. It goes bad. So anyway, I put some NeoPixels in here as you can see. And while I was uh, printing these parts, actually I had printed these yesterday and today I had the idea because here's a round um, area. Here normally a LED comes in and I was going to control this by my uh, Atmega board with Bluetooth on it, uh, with a Bluetooth module. And then it made click. And I thought of using this display in the middle of here and having a touch interface for the NeoPixel. How about that? So it's not gonna be a clock. It's not gonna show the weather information. It will be used as a controller for NeoPixels. So I will go ahead and redesign this middle part with these uh, hinge connectors here. And don't mind the screws sticking out. I had I need to get some shorter ones. I didn't want to cut these down. And so I will design, uh, redesign the middle part, and put this in here. And then you will be able to just touch it to turn it on, and then control the color of it, obviously, and um, maybe double tap it to turn it off. And the beauty of this light is it's on hinges so you can move the arms or whatever you want to call them pretty much anywhere you want all of them of course and I really like the design it kind of looks like a I didn't see the movie so I cannot tell you about that but it looks like a futuristic lamp and it, it even looks like a, a robot head or something like that so anyway uh, don't mind these, the connections going bad on the breadboard. Obviously I just have these wires soldered. I mean, put some solder on the on the end of it and suck it into the breadboard. So that's why the connection is bad, but you get the idea. And um, oops, I will of course put a link into to the description of this beautiful display from Makerfabs. I actually have the page open on my monitor I can show you there it is and don't mind my TV over there and I will put the link of course to the make to this display and to the other displays as well for Maker Fabs. Again thank you very much Jennifer I greatly greatly appreciate it and just uh, you never know what kind of idea you're gonna have to use these displays but i think on this light it will be perfect this will be actually a perfect light for a camera setup and uh, easily controllable by the display 
So I will put the display on this side. You could technically put it on the back if you want to use it for photography or whatever. But uh, this is what's going to be. I also will put a link to the this, uh, to the website for this download for this light. And once I have my design finished, I will put it up. I put it up on my Thingiverse link. Uh, at the bottom of my video you can see my links that I have to my Tindy store and Thingiverse and whatnot. And uh, if you like this, please do push the like button. And if you like, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to see any future updates to this or more products from Maker Fabs. I have two more products that I put an eye on it. So... I will see if I get those to show you, but uh, this is it. If you have any other idea for this display, how you could use it, uh, please do let me know. I might, I might change my mind and not do put it on here, but I think this will be nice and useful. Uh, what this light also has, it has some connections to the bottom, um, links like that, so you can mount it to your table and then turn it and whatnot and I might print those or I use a um, aluminum profile for that to have it more stable or maybe just put a mount on it to be able to mount it on a tripod but anyway yeah you can see the connection is bad and they turn yellow but oops white again yellow so that's my connection. I'm moving it around, obviously. So anyway, if you like it, please do support me. You can also uh, buy me a cup of coffee if you like, or become a Patreon, or buy something for my Tindy store. I do have a Tindy store as well. But anyway, thanks again, Jennifer. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And every display will find its purpose and use in the end. It just doesn't happen right away. I actually do like what uh, Eric did with this uh, turntable demo. Since I'm older, I'm more like I like Nixie tubes, as you can see here. Are my clocks, the four digit and the single digit. And um, um, Terry, if you're watching this, thank you for your support as well. And I hope you like your watches. And this, I will try to work on the code and add some features to it well you cannot see anything i know but let me plug it in then you can um i will i want to make this as a turntable as, as well uh to listen to mp3s and right now it only has a feature to turn it on and off for a single song and here you have the volume also i don't want to play the song because uh uh, will be copyrighted um, I was gonna say so I want to use this like that as well but I want to have the opportunity to change um, the songs like forward and backward and maybe even uh, display the cover art of the LP and uh, of the vinyl on here instead of just turntable and anyway that's what I will use this display for and maybe make a small uh, speaker enclosure to have everything in there. I might bump the speaker up, although this is a very, very nice speaker. If you're tight on space, it's you can watch. I will put a link to my video where I reviewed this and you can hear the, the speaker. It's really it's enclosed over here, so it sounds really nice for its size. It sounds real nice and for its size so anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody till the next time